We're back today with another That Spider-Man booth $250 Superior V14 Comic Book Mystery Box Every single time that, that Spider-Man booth does the Superior Boxes I used to buy two or three of them This time I bought a total of three And hopefully I'm looking forward to something decent in these Hopefully I get something at least I want to keep from my collection uh, If you buy these, you will get a whole bunch of their own exclusive comics most of the comics will be their own exclusive that you can buy off their website, you know. So if you don't want them, like I honestly don't want most of them, but on this channel I do mystery boxes. And I like the thrill of the hunt. I like the thrill of not knowing what you're going to get. With the possibility of getting out like some of the top hits this time was a Hulk 181. And this they put original art this time, original comic book page art. So, fingers crossed, something good comes out of this. But here we go. 250 bucks, the 14 box. If the inside box is this long, it's a slab box. If it's this long, no slab box. You ready? I'll show you first. Oh, it's taped. Show you first. Is there more tape? Hold on. Show you first, is there a slab? Slab? Yes, we got a slab this time. We got a slab. So even though there is a slab, it doesn't even mean that it's going to be a good slab, though. Because I know this time they slabbed a whole lot of their own exclusive comics. Like I got last time, the V13 box, my biggest hit was their own slab comic. That, uh, yeah, it, yeah. But anyway, let's keep the spirits up. So V15 is the Black Friday box. And the V14 is now. Here we go. Oh, this time they actually got rid of those tubes. I'm happy they did because most of the times the art prints and posters in those tubes were damaged because they, they get rolled tight and they just, they, they just get damaged half the time anyway. So I'm kind of happy they got rid of those. Sticker, this box is bulging. Here we go. We have one art print on the bottom. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. We got Batgirl. Have not seen this art print before. Super cool, numbered 63 out of 100 made. That is awesome. I really like that art print. I do sell a phone app called the Whatnot app, where you can buy and sell collectibles, Funko Pop, sports, or like the trading cards. And uh, there's live auctions almost every single night. If you're an approved seller, you can sell, you can sell stuff like this. So this will be in my, probably my future auction that I'll be having. So make sure you follow me on Instagram and you'll find out when my next live auction will be where you can actually buy this stuff that I don't keep from me live. Here we go. This is the superior box. This is a slab box this time. So that is a bonus. Here we go. We'll do the slab last though. We can't do the first. Got to save the main course for last. So everyone guarantee 10 comics. One comic will be autographed. Let me pull out the comics without pulling out the slab. No looking, no peeking. Yep. There's a slab in there. Hopefully the slab is not like their own exclusive comic slab like I got last time. Hopefully it's not. We'll find out though. Last. Get this bag open. Oh, there's. There it is. Okay. Here we go. Got the middle, slice it, and first one. I actually already own this comic. <laughs> I actually have two of them. I got from two of my local uh, comic book shops when they came out. This is Dark Knight's Death Metal number three, the one in 25 ratio variant. You got that Superman on there. Uh, of course, everybody loves Superman, but I love Superman. I thought this is actually a super cool cover. Superman with kind of like a, a metal arm. This thrash down on guitar. This cover this thing is insane. Actually, so I have three copies of this comic now. I think whenever I bought this, one of my shops had it for 25. The other had it for, I think, 30. And I just got him. I got two copies. I got three copies of this one now. Three. Will I keep all three? I don't know. I'll have to just wait and see. Next one. 
That's a cool one. I think it's actually Batman number 100, I think. I think it's Batman number 100. Yes. We have a Punchline, Catwoman, and Joker cover with a beat-up Batman on bottom right there. Batman number 100 variant, like virgin variant cover. This is probably going to be like a store exclusive to uh, unknown comics more than likely. Next, we have a Strange Academy. I'm actually collecting the entire Strange Academy run this time. Pretty much any cover that I, I, that I need, I'm, I'm picking them all up. Because I think this series is awesome. This, I guarantee, will eventually be probably made into a Disney Plus show. I guarantee it does. And this one is Strange Academy. Number one. This is probably going to be like a fourth or fifth print. Virgin variant print. This is their own exclusive. But actually, I don't have it yet, so... This one I will be keeping. I actually need this one for my own collection, so that's a bonus. I got one I actually will guarantee I will keep next. Uh, is that an X-Men? Super cool cover, though. It's very green. Check it out. Who is this one of? Is it X-Men? Hellions? X-Factor. X Factor X of Swords Part 2 of 22. So this is the X Men X of Swords X Factor. This is their own exclusive. Okay. So yeah, I won't keep this one. Not in my uh, realm of what I keep, what I collect. Next, we got, we got a Venom, some kind of a Venom. Cool cover, though. Let's see what. This one is, I don't know right now, they're doing a lot of prints of the of, of the Venom, the Donny Cates run. They're doing a lot of Venom covers now. This, oh, this is Shang-Chi number one. It's like Shang-Chi Venomized. <laughs> Did not guess that. Shang-Chi number one, a virgin variant, their own exclusive once again. That's a cool cover, though. I thought I sure that, that was gonna be a venom but no it's just like shang chi venomized next this is a thor i think this is like thor man i don't even want to guess the last time i guessed the thor i was off by like six issues this is actually interior art to this or like an interior page to this comic because i've seen this one before i think i actually i might own it already i might it is thor number two Thor number two, which I think was the first cameo Black Winter, I think, was Thor number two. Because Thor number four was the first full appearance of Black Winter, I think. Thor number two was the first, I think it was the cameo Black Winter, I think. That's probably like a fourth or fifth printing right there, I bet. Next, we have a Venom. Cool cover. We got a Virgin variant. Let's see which one this one is. We got Venom. I can get come on come on venom number 28 this one was the first appearance was it virus maybe or virus might might, might have been 27 maybe Something like that. next we have another venom another venom this is probably gonna be like either 25 26 or 27 i bet one of those three Venom 25, their own exclusive once again. And then we have, looks like, another Venom. But once again, it's probably Venom number 25, 26, 27. So you have a lot. These are they're all their own exclusive. Uh, no, this is actually Web of Venom Wraith number one. Disregard Web of Venom Wraith number one. But it is their own exclusive once again. And we actually do have an older one right here. We have a King Conan number 15. Oh, it, it's autographed. And it is autographed, too. King Conan number 15. Certificate of Authenticity. Amazing Comic Con is authorized. A certificate to stand as proof that is collectible. It was hand signed by Mark Silverstreet. That's kind of cool. 1982. King Conan number 15. That's not bad. I, I kind of like that. It's, it's an older comic, kind of older. Autographed. 
I like it. That's not bad. Here we go. Here we go with the possible big hit of the box. We have the graded comic. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? I'm trying to pull it out so that it's facing the camera. You can try to feel the front. Okay, so that that's the front right there. Turn it upside down. Here we go. You ready? What I get? The back says Venom number 26. So this is one of their newer exclusives. Well, that's not bad. Venom number 26. This is Unknown Comics Virgin Edition. The first distributed appearance of Virus intended as a second appearance, but distributed before uh, Free Comic Book Day 2020 due to COVID-19 shipping delay. So we got a 9.8 white pages with a very scuffed up case. And the case is all scuffed up. But that's not bad. This comic probably sells for maybe like 50 bucks raw, 40, 50 bucks raw. Let's actually find out. I'm actually, I'm, just, I'm very happy with that comic. It's a newer comic, but I'm happy with it. Okay, so I'm looking on eBay right now. For sold listings, here's like 9.8 sold for $65. This is an actual comic, $82, $111. Sixty bucks, eighty bucks. So between sixty to like a hundred ish. So probably about worth about eighty bucks for this comic. So that's not bad. It's a nice hit. So this King Conan is worth about two dollars. It sells about two bucks raw. So autograph probably worth like what maybe twenty, thirty bucks as high as thirty. So it's not bad. So I'd say I pretty much just broke even with this box in the grand scheme of things. Broke even ish. In terms of retail price, so, you know, I got a slab. Wasn't the best slab, but I'm happy with the slab. And all in all, it wasn't bad. I got my money back in value, I think. So, see you next time with some more comic book mystery boxes.